This video is sponsored by keysfan.com. This is a website where you can buy cheap and legal Windows licenses at the best prices. More on them later on in this video. Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm gonna show you the new installation process from Windows 11 22H2. Basically, the installation process is very similar, but we have a whole bunch of changes and new additions in the second part of the installation process of Windows 11. In this video, we're gonna go through the whole process of the installation and show you what is new, what has changed, and of course, a few tips and tricks here and there if you want to know about them. If you like these videos that I do on this channel, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the Tech Base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Of course, we're gonna go through the same setup here, which is basically the same since Windows 7. We have to select the language, the time, and the keyboard. We're gonna click on next and then uninstall now, and the setup is gonna start. We're gonna need to activate Windows next, of course, as I said at the beginning, this video is sponsored by keysfan.com. So you're going to have a solution, a very cheap solution if you want to buy a Windows 10 or 11 license that you can use to activate Windows 11. But I'm going to show you that after we've installed Windows. And for now, I'm going to click on I don't have a product key. We're going to need to select the operating system we want to install. I'm going to select Windows 11 Pro and then click on next. Then we're going to have to accept the license in terms of Windows. And then I'm going to use the custom install. I'm going to install Windows 11 on this partition, then click on next and you're gonna see that the installation process will start copying the files getting the files ready for installation installing features installing updates and finishing up basically so far everything is the same so we're just gonna skip this part and come back when the new installation process begins that started with Windows 11 Windows 11 restarted and now it's gonna start the services and soon enough the new process of installation will start now the new OOB experience will start and basically we're going to need to select a few things and we're going to see the new elements that we can encounter in Windows 11 22H2. I'm going to select the country and region of course and then I'm going to click on next. The keyboard layout, I'm going to skip adding a second keyboard layout. Now we're going to need to name our device, I'm going to name it Emmy and then click on next and we're going to have to wait just a moment. Now we're going to set up the device for personal use and then click on next and as you can see here we start to see the first signs of changes in the new OOB experience for Windows 11 22H2. Basically, Microsoft will make us sign in to a Microsoft account and basically they say unlock your Microsoft experience. I'm going to click on sign in. What you're going to notice is that you are no longer allowed to install Windows 11 with a local account. So you will need to log in with your Microsoft account or create an account. You also have the option to sign in with a security key, but of course that will mean that you will need to insert your security key into the USB port. Or if you click on sign in options where we had the option to do an offline account we no longer have that so we can just install Windows 11 using a Microsoft account of course there are ways of installing Windows 11 with a local account and with no internet connection and if you are interested in a video like that I can do a separate video with this topic but now I'm gonna sign in into my account as you can see once you log in with your Microsoft account you have the option to sync settings preferences OneDrive files and also apps to install from the previous previous device. But of course, I'm just going to click on set up as new device and then click on next. The restore thing is pretty useful because it will help you a lot when you want to fastly set up Windows 11. Then I'm going to create a pin, then I'm going to click on OK. Of course, we're going to have to choose our privacy settings, but in my opinion, I usually uncheck these and of course, they always can be turned on afterwards and then I'm going to click on accept. You also have the option to customize your experience. I'm going to click on skip for now. And now you're going to see another new addition in the installer. And that is the integration with your phone. And as you can see, use your Android phone from your PC. And you can just link it using a QR code, but I'm not gonna do that now. But this is also a new addition in the setup and you can do that even when installing Windows 11. I'm gonna click on only save files to this PC because they asked me to back up the files with OneDrive, but I'm not actually using OneDrive, so I'm just gonna click on that. And also another new thing, access granted, with, we're giving you a free trial of Microsoft 365. I'm gonna decline and also I'm gonna skip for now the game pass for Xbox play over 100 high quality PC games with PC game pass I'm also gonna skip it as you can see Microsoft is starting to implement more and more services that they provide and also products and I don't mean that that's a bad thing but I'm hoping that they won't integrate too many things and too many promotions in the installing process of course and now these are the finishing steps where Microsoft is getting things ready for us and we will have the Windows 11 operating system installed and 
set up in a few minutes. So as I've said, if you're looking for a cheap solution on buying a Windows 10 license or a Windows 11 license, you can use the website keysfan.com. They provide cheap and legal licenses, as I've said, for Windows 10, Windows 11, and they also have Office 2019, 2016, and also Office 2021. They also have some special packages with Windows 11 or Windows 10 plus Microsoft Office. In my opinion, the best offer would be Windows 11 Pro because you can use a Windows 11 Pro license or or a key to activate even Windows 11 or later on upgrade for free to Windows 11. So I'm just going to click on buy now next to Windows 10 product key and we have here Windows 10 professional key. You can click on add to cart and then click on view cart. As you can see the price is $15 but using the coupon code YT15 you will receive a 50% discount. I think that's a pretty pretty good deal and as you can see the final price would be $7.58 and I think this is a really good price and if you click on proceed to checkout, you will see that they have all kinds of methods to pay. You'll have PayPal or credit card and everything is protected and safe. Of course, in the end, once you've processed the payment, just click on place order and you will receive your license key. And after you've purchased the key from keysfan.com, you can just go and open up the search box and go into settings, of course, and we're going to search for activation settings. And you're going to see that the activation process is really simple. As I've said, just search in the settings app, activation settings click on it and then all you need to do is to click on change next to change product key enter your product key here click on next and the activation will be done in a few seconds and you will have an activated and original copy of Windows 11 Pro thank you to keysfan.com for sponsoring this video so this was the video for today I showed you how the new installing process from Windows 11 22 h2 looks and also I showed you a very cheap and easy method of activating Windows 11 using a license from keysfan.com if you're interested in that you're gonna have all the links necessary in the description below don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from techbase until next time have a nice day